Since my uh, my shop is completely full, I needed something to do with uh, with my nervous nerdy energy, and um, I need some sawdust therapy. So I signed up for a class at the uh, Center for Wooden Boats, um, and actually here at the Camo Beach location, so about an hour hour and a half north of Seattle, and um, decided to make a paddle. I mean, can't have too many paddles. So uh, actually making a canoe paddle. I thought about doing a bent wood, but I think I'm just going to do a straight. Um, so I paddle with uh, like 8 inch wide, 57 inch long, maybe 56, I'll have to look that up or measure myself or something, but um, these are the steps that I'm taking in order to do a, uh, a, a laminated uh, canoe paddle. I picked up some Rift Saw and Ash and some really nice cherry at Eden Saw in Seattle in the Soto District. The shop there at the Cama Beach location for the Center for Wooden Boats is really well stocked with tools and as you can see heated really well with the, the little wood stove so it was a nice place to put everything together. I cut the strips up and arranged them there on the table. I had a little bit of burn on the cherry that I didn't like but what I did was instead of putting it through a planer because there really wasn't one with knives uh, that could handle the cherry without chipping it out. I used a really long piece of sandpaper on a dead flat piece of mahogany and any of the mating faces I went ahead and, uh, and sanded until I was happy with their flatness and their ability to stick to each other. I was a little limited on clamps and so I did a tack of either side of the blade and the shaft separately for about four hours and then um, I glued them all together and let them sit overnight there by the wood stove and then the next day I used a combination of hand tools and power tools to get the, the rough shape that I was looking for. To finish my quick and dirty paddle, I used a two-part silver tip epoxy. And this is what I thought was going to be my final finished product, <laughs> right until I, I went paddling with it. What I quickly discovered with my new paddle is A, it weighs a metric shit ton, and B, it both paddles, looks, and feels a lot like a pizza peel that I recently built. So what I decided to do is take uh, one of my normal paddles and kind of copy the curves, not the width, but the curves. And uh, as you can see here, and, and try to make this new paddle uh, much more efficient in and on the water. After doing the rough cuts, I pulled out the sweet Ryobi belt sander and... Uh, did a lot of the uh, the grunt work with the paddle edge and then also with the with that stem that extended into the blades as well as the the shaft itself and the handle and what I found was the handle was way too chunky um, I thought I needed more but I didn't and then the shaft still had some divots on it from the bandsaw that I wasn't completely happy with I originally included a really hefty rib that extended from the handle down in the blade, as you can see, um, is and was there. And I did that to make the paddle stronger. Um, I found, however, with the ash and with the cherry, that the paddle was strong enough, more so. And um, what that did was just add a bunch of weight, uh, weight and bulk to the paddle itself. So um, I went ahead and took that off of both sides. The rough sanding's done and moving on to easing some of the edges and the finished sanding and reshaping the handle just a touch. You can see some of the divots from the humps that the bandsaw left and sanding those smooth I think will make this a much more comfortable shaft for this paddle. 24. So we had a little bit of an incident with the uh, three-year-old belt on the belt sander and my awesome wife Went to Home Depot all by herself and got me a new belt for my belt sander so that I could finish this up before it started pouring rain. And just like magic, we're up and running again. It's, it's gotten dark on me. I got started a little late on this sort of halfway project. Um, I have slimmed this paddle down by almost a pound. And um, as you can see, I took some of the bulb off. I reshaped it both on um, the heel and the toe. Um, I did slim up the handle just a little bit. I had some bumps left from the, from the bandsaw 
um, at the uh, Center for Wooden Boats when I used their shop that I never, to my own satisfaction, got out. So I, I did that, I got all those out, and then I slimmed up and reshaped the handle just a little bit. Now, this isn't, I, I like a big chunky handle. Remember, this is a steering paddle, so I need, I need to be able to have some force on it. So I want that nice big chunky paddle. I don't need to drop my thumb over just as long as I'm, I'm there, I'm good. And yeah, so I'm gonna hit this with um, some 110 and uh, maybe some 220 and then I'm going to cover it again with silver tip epoxy. Uh, one, maybe two coats of it, and then I'll put some exterior Manowar spar varnish on it. And I'll take you through that whole process next. All right.